Hi there, everyone. I just read an article in the Epic Times, and the title of the article is IRS Ends Unannounced Revenue Officer Visits to Taxpayers, Major Change to End Confusion, Enhance Safety as Part of Larger Agency Transformation Efforts. And I said to myself, hmm, okay. So it says, as part of a larger transformation effort, the Internal Revenue Service announced a major policy change that will end most unannounced visits to taxpayers by agency revenue officers to reduce public confusion and enhance overall safety measures for taxpayers and employees. The change reverses a decade-long practice by IRS revenue officers and unarmed agency employees whose duties include visiting households and businesses to help taxpayers resolve their account balances by collecting unpaid taxes and unfiled tax returns. Effective immediately, unannounced visits will end except in a few unique circumstances and will be replaced with mailed letters to schedule meetings. IRS Commissioner Danny Warfel announced the change as part of a larger effort to transform IRS operations following passage of the Inflation Reduction Act last year and the creation of the news of the new IRS strategic operating plan in April. We're taking a fresh look at how IRS operates to better serve taxpayers and the nation and making this change is a common sense step, the commissioner said. Changing this long-standing procedure will increase confidence in our tax administration work and improve overall safety for taxpayers and IRS employees. The commissioner also noted that there have been increased security concerns in recent years on multiple fronts. The growth in scam artists bombarding taxpayers has increased confusion about the home visits by IRS revenue officers. Sometimes scam artists appear at the door, posing as IRS agents, creating confusion for not just the taxpayers living there, but local law enforcement. For IRS revenue officers, these unannounced visits to homes and businesses presented risk also. Revenue officers routinely face hazards and uncertainty, making unannounced visits to attempt to resolve delinquent tax returns. These visits created extreme anxiety for taxpayers already weary of potential scam artists, the commissioner said. At the same time, the uncertainty around what IRS employees faced when visiting these homes created stress for them as well. It is the right thing to do and the right time to end it. The change reflects the ongoing evolution of tax administration work taking place. The commissioner noted that funding under the Inflation Reduction Act will add more staffing for compliance work. The IRS continues to focus on key areas such as high income taxpayers with tax issues as efforts continue on transforming the IRS. Improved analytics will also help IRS compliance efforts focus on those with the most serious tax issues. In place of unannounced visits, revenue officers will instead make contact with taxpayers through appointment letters and schedule follow-up meetings that way. This will help taxpayers feel more prepared when it is time to meet. Taxpayers whose cases are assigned to a revenue officer will now be able to schedule face-to-face -face meetings at a set place and time with the necessary information and documentation in hand to reach resolutions of their cases more quickly and eliminate the burden of multiple future meetings. The IRS noted there will still be extremely limited situations where unannounced visits will occur. These rare instances include services of summonses and subpoenas and also sensitive enforcement activities involving seizure of assets especially those at risk of being placed beyond the reach of the government. To put this in perspective, these types of situations typically number less than a few hundred each year, a small fraction compared to the tens of thousands of unannounced visits that typically occurred annually under the old policy. 
what I have to say about this is that, first of all, don't confuse internal revenue agents and revenue officers. The revenue officers are the ones that collect the tax. They would be the ones that come to the door and say, hey, you owe X amount of dollars. How are you going to pay it? This change does not include revenue agents for which I was one of those. Those, we always made appointments. There were there were never any unannounced visits. We would send a letter out or call, which I know they don't call anymore because of all the scam artists, but we would send a letter out or call and then schedule the appointment that way. So I'm hoping that people don't get excited about this new change. It really doesn't change much because people are going to still get these audit letters and revenue agents are still going to come to the homes. So let me explain. There are several different types of audits. There's a correspondence audit. That's where you get a letter in the mail saying you need to send in your documentation for a particular expense. For example, they might want you to send your documentation in to prove that you contributed $4,000 to your church. You get that information, you send it in, and then they send you a letter saying we received your information and either you owe more money or you don't. Then there's the office audit. Office auditors are the ones that are in the IRS, in the IRS office all day and they sit there and they audit several people. So they'll send you out a letter and say, hey, bring in all your records for this, that, and the other. You come to the office, you sit at their desk and you show them all your records and at the end of the audit, either you owe more money or you don't. The revenue agents are the ones who went out to people's businesses. After contacting the people and making an appointment, they would go out to people's businesses and make an assessment of these people's taxes. So, for example, if, you went, if I, as an IRS agent, went to someone's home and they were living in a million-dollar home, but their tax return said they only made $22,000, that's a problem. So revenue agents were more than just the people that were looking at paperwork. They would also make assessments based on that person's standard of living. Then you have the revenue officers. After the revenue agent came back and said that John Doe owed $40,000 in tax, it was the revenue officer about to go out and collect that tax. So letters would go out, but also unannounced visits would go out to maybe intimidate John Doe to make sure that he's getting money to pay the IRS. So that's what they're changing. I think that they think that these revenue officers would possibly be harmed. People are angry, especially poor people, but most people are angry at what's going on in our country. And the revenue officers may be afraid to come up to people's door asking for taxes. That could be the last straw for somebody. I wouldn't want to be in that position. At any rate, what they're doing here more so than anything is trying to protect the revenue agents because they feel like these people might start quitting their jobs because they're afraid to be knocking on folks' doors. So that's that story about the IRS. Don't get excited. They're still going to be auditing all these people. And as I stated before in one of the other videos that I did, they usually go after the poor and middle class people, the ones that are making under 250 because they're the low hanging fruit because they don't have CPAs and attorneys to hire to protect them. So those audits are still going to go on. It's just a matter of once tax is assessed, the revenue office is going to probably send letters as opposed to just showing up at your door, which is which is a good thing. Because they don't carry guns and, and they're, they're, um, uh, there's a tendency for people now to be armed at their homes and ready for anybody that comes to the door. So I think that they want to make sure that their employees don't quit out of fear of someone being angry. So you guys have a great evening and hopefully I'll be able to do another video soon. Bye-bye.